In this lecture here, I want to finish talking about dividing polynomials by talking really briefly about what's called the remainder theorem, and then uh, working through two examples of what's called the factor theorem. So it works like this. If the polynomial f of x is divided by x minus c, then the remainder is what f of c would be equal to. So if you go through and so, so you have something like, I don't know, something like this, okay? If you take, if you go even go back, just to just to this example here. So if you take x cubed minus six minus seven x and you divide it by x plus two, okay? Then if you were to take the value of c, which would be negative two and plug it in, you would get zero. So, so for example, even going back to this, okay, right here, x cubed minus six minus seven x, and we divided it by x plus two, okay? And what we did was when we saw this, okay, the remainder was equal to zero. So if you were to take, if this is my f of x, and you were to plug in f of negative two, you know, you get negative two cubed, minus six, minus seven times negative two, well, this would be minus eight minus six plus 14 would be zero, okay? So what, now there's a case then, if you were to, you know, in this example here, okay? If you were to take negative two and plug it into x to the seventh plus x to the fifth minus 10 x cubed plus 12, you would get negative 68, okay? So instead of what we're saying here is you can do the division instead of just plugging it right into your calculator. All right, so let me give you an example, okay? Given that f of x is equal to 3x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x plus 3, use the remainder theorem to find f of negative 4. So look, here, here, here's what's going on here. If you were to take negative 4 and plug it into this, okay? Instead of plugging this into your calculator, what you could do is you could use synthetic division to find what this is actually equal to. Okay, so here's, here's what's going on. You're gonna take this value here. Notice how C, X minus C. So my C here is negative four, and you put it over here, and then you would use synthetic division. And I won't go through the synthetic division in, in much detail here, right? So you bring the three down, four times three gets me minus 12, four plus minus 12 gets me minus eight, and then you see you repeat the process. And what you would see here is the remainder then, here, this remainder is what this would be equal to. So you can use this synthetic division and this polynomial division in lieu of using your calculator. I will say though, it's a good theorem but sometimes the calculator is just easier. All right, what I do wanna spend time talking about here is this factor theorem, okay? And so this is, this is really important. It's gonna help us solve some, some complex problems. So let's let f of x be a polynomial. If you have f of c is equal to zero, okay, then this x minus c is a factor of f of x, okay? Similarly, if x minus c is a factor of f of x, then f of c is equal to zero. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this, okay? This, this, if we know that f of c is equal to zero, then x minus c is a factor to help us solve some complicated problems. All right, so here's the first one. Okay, it says solve the equation x, 15x cubed plus 14x squared minus 3x minus two is equal to zero. Given that minus one is a zero, okay, of, f, of this function f of x. Okay, so what that means, if I were to solve this, okay, when I say that it's a zero of this, okay, so if I have this equation, Or 
one solution is I, I'm telling you that minus one is a zero. So one solution is X is equal to negative one. So what I want to do, so what I want to do is I want to find, I want to find out how I can use this to help me find the other solutions to this. Okay. So this means that F of negative one is equal to zero. Okay. So looking back, if it's a zero, okay, this C negative one here equals zero. Okay. The factor theorem tells us then what I like to do here actually is I like to just solve bring this over so x plus 1 is equal to 0 so this tells me that this x plus 1 right here is a factor of of our function f of x so what I want to do is I want to take now this 15 x cubed plus 14 x squared minus 3 x minus 2 and I want to divide this factor this x plus one out, okay? And that's gonna give me a, um, a new polynomial, okay? So watch what happens when I do that. If we use synthetic division, so I'm gonna divide, as I said, by x plus one. So using synthetic division really, really quickly here, okay? I'm, you can follow this on your own. Um, the synthetic division is, is really, really straightforward. But if I were to take 15x cubed plus 14x squared minus 3x minus 2 and divide it by x plus 1, I get this new polynomial. Okay. So what this means is that I can take my original polynomial, this 15x cubed plus 14x squared minus 3x minus 2, and I now can write it as a product of x plus 1 times this 15x squared minus x minus 2. How does this help me? Well, now what we can do, all right, is we can now set this equal to zero and solve. So this right here is already factored. There's nothing to do here. If you can take this 15x squared minus x minus two, it would factor into three x plus one times five x minus two. And then look, you have three factors and they're setting equal to zero. So just set each factor equal to zero. X plus one is equal to zero. Well, that was given, right? That one zero is negative one. So when you solve, you get X is equal to negative one. Take three X plus one, set it equal to zero. You get X is equal to minus one third. Take five X minus two, set it equal to zero. You get X is equal to two fifths. And so there are three solutions to this crazy polynomial equation that we had, okay? All right, let me, let me do one here that's, that's not, not already on the slides. Let me, let me write it out here, okay? And I'll go a little bit slower in this case. Let's solve this right here, okay? Let's solve 12x cubed plus 16x squared minus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. Given that x is equal to minus 3 half is a root. Okay. So what this means, if I were to take this, okay, and plug it into this, this equation right here would be equal to zero. So what this is saying is this is one solution right here. All right, x is equal to minus three half solves this, okay? So I wanna use this to help me find um, the, the remaining uh, solutions. So here's Matt's trick, okay? You're going to take this and you're going to solve it and sell it that it's equal to zero. So you're going to multiply the multiply both sides by two. So you get two X is equal to minus three. You're going to add the three over. So you're going to get two X plus three is equal to zero. Now what you're going to do is now you're going to divide now that we've gotten this, this right here, you're going to take this. Okay. And you're going to divide it into this. So you're going to take, 
12x cubed plus 16x squared minus 5x minus 3. And you're going to divide it by 2x plus 3. All right, now here's the problem. Okay, you can't use synthetic division for this. So what I'm going to do is, now remember, this is a step to help us solve this equation here. So I'm going to take this on to the next slide, okay? So you're going to have this 12x cubed plus 16x squared minus 5x minus 3, and we were dividing it by this 2x plus 3. So you're going to need to use long division here. little bit of a pain. So you're going to take 12x cubed divided by 2x, right? You get 6x squared. So 6x squared times 2x gets me 12x cubed. 6x squared times 3 gets me plus 18x squared. You're going to subtract it away. So 12x cubed minus 12x cubed goes away. 16x squared minus 18x squared gets me minus 2x squared. You're going to bring down this. So you're going to take um, uh, minus 2x squared divided by 2x, you get minus just x. So minus x times 2x gets me minus 2x squared. Minus x times 3 gets me minus 3x. So when you subtract away, right, negative, negative becomes positive. So this becomes minus 2x plus 2x is 0. Minus 5x plus 3x gives me minus 2x. Bring down the minus 3. And then when you divide here, minus 2x divided by 2x just gives me minus 1. Minus 1 times 2x gives me minus 2x. Minus 1 times 3, minus 3. And when you subtract, this is awesome. Nothing left over. So this is equal to 2x squared minus x minus 1. So here's the thing. It's like, okay, Matt, well, well, how does that help me, right? Like, like what, do we, what do we do next? So this is what we were trying to solve going back. This crazy, crazy problem here. Okay, we were trying to solve 12x cubed plus 16x squared minus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. Well, we know that this is now equal to 2x cubed times, or uh, excuse me, 2x plus 3. Sorry, I misspoke there. We know that this is equal to 2x plus 3 times this. Ah, uh, now we can solve. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to try to factor this, you know, so you're going to say, you know, what to, you know, use the AC method or guess and check any, any method you want. Um, so what two numbers factor, I'll move it over here and just as a review, show you how to factor. So you say what two numbers multiply to negative six, sum to negative one, it's minus three and two. Right, so this is going to factor into 6x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 1. You're going to factor this by grouping. Here you're going to factor out a 3x. There's nothing to factor out here, so I'm going to put an invisible 1, make the visible 1 uh, visible there. So then you get 2x minus 1 times 3x plus 1. So this now becomes... 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 1 times 3x plus 1. So you either have, you have 2x plus 3 is equal to 0, or you have this 2x minus 1 is equal to 0, or you have this 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. So subtract the 3, divide by 2. You get back to that minus 3 halves that you were given. Add 1 divided by 2, x could be 1 half. Subtract 1 divide by 3. So it looks like our solution set here, 
there's three possible solutions. Minus three halves, minus just putting it in ascending order, and then one half. All right, a lot going on here, and I know it seems very complicated, but you know, again, as always, you know, you have the notes here, and the more you practice, obviously, the easier this will become.